starting in 2003 in the U.S. Uh, under John Ashcroft to allow local and state governments to protect information that might allow terrorists to attack them. The City Council of Mevin placed all their GIS sewer and water records underneath the Terrorist Protection Act. You laugh, but there are several thousand people being denied education, sewer, and water now for decades, partially because of that government, that government information is not available. There was a lot talked about the charges made to get government information. The interesting thing about the state of North Carolina is the public instruction database is a cost recovery database handled by a third party. That third party is Duke University. <laughs> a wonderful institution. <laughs> now, the Stanford Institute tries to make this available, but it turns out, by the way, if you were to want to use it, the prices are negotiable. This is something that you might want to know because they will ask you why you're using it, if you have IRB approval, and so forth. That's not legal. You, did, you do not need to answer those questions. When Alan Parnell and the Cedar Grove Institute went to the, Depart the North Carolina Department of Transportation to find out about highway right-of-ways were essential for the water and sewer and might be a problem for that, they, they were asked to fill out a questionnaire or to interview the engineers to say why they wanted this information. That's illegal under North Carolina law. <laughs> 